Does your life purpose or the idea of it torture you? Like you really want to make sure that you're living your life's purpose and and contributing and, and doing the most with this precious, precious life that you have. Well, I have a really unique way of thinking about life's purpose. It might take some of the torture out of it and the pleasure <laughs> will be enhanced by understanding it. I want to share with you some really interesting information and one cool tip that will keep you in your purpose every single day. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow. Flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. And I am your host, Zen Cryer to Brook, stress as guidance expert. I have worked with thousands of people over the years, and one of the main things that most human beings have on their heart at any given time is wanting to contribute and to live their purpose, their life's purpose. Another way to look at it is destiny, you know? And so the thing is, is I think we incarnate, we come down here to this planet with a really good idea of what we want to achieve, what we want, how we want our soul to grow, how we want to be a part of other people's lives, to really contribute our gifts and who we are and to make this a better place. And in that, we have this beautiful little kernel of desire, and that desire is about life's purpose. Then once we get here, we kind of get piled on, you know, the way we're raised and trained and how this world works and who we have to be and how it all has to come together for us in our lives may take us away from our life's purpose. That kernel's still there, that desire, that powerful thing saying, I want to live my life's purpose. I want to know what my purpose here is. That's still there. But then we have like the career and the job and the family and the self-esteem and the confidence and the connections and all these various things that kind of move us out of that. Well, I have a philosophy, and that is is that we don't have just one life's purpose or even two or three big life purposes. I believe that we have 100,000 or more purposes in this lifetime. Now, before you get a little overwhelmed at the idea of, oh my gosh, I was scrambling with one or just trying to live this one I I know about, before you feel that way, I want to share with you what I mean. You are a gift You are important right now as you are. You are contributing your purpose here in this lifetime right now. It's the the little conversation you have with the person at the coffee shop that brightens their day or, or, or that moment of deepness that you have about something that's going on that you didn't even think about having this conversation with a stranger and you did. It's that book that you gave your best friend when they were going through a rough time. It's letting that person in in traffic when they've had a crummy day and they're stressed out and you pull that stress away of not having to merge into traffic and make it tough. You make it easy for them. It's a smile. It's a look. It's taking a nap, taking care of yourself. There's all kinds of ways in which we have a purpose in every moment. We really have a purpose in every moment. And sometimes that purpose feels really big and and grand, right? You help somebody out or maybe you pay off somebody's bill or there's some cool thing that you get to do that feels really nourishing and grand. And and sometimes it's it's minute, it's little. In fact, it, it could be so little that you don't notice it, but the person next to you does. Now, How do we live this? Well, I am a fan of this internal guidance system, this factory installed guidance system that we're all born with, which its job is to literally keep you in alignment with your destiny and life's purpose, moment to moment to moment. Now, if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, of course, go to zeninamoment.com, watch the video there on the homepage where I walk you through a very short, simple exercise that has you feel your internal guidance system for yourself. You can actually feel it, you know, and you'll under, you'll be like, wow, this is cool. I felt it. It be, resides between your throat and your upper solar plex area where your ribs comes together. And it's been operating your entire lifetime, giving you guidance on what you're thinking and whether what you're thinking is in alignment with your purpose and carrying you towards it and accomplishing it, or what you're thinking is carrying you away from your purpose in the moment, farther away, and, and you're not accomplishing it. So there's this very cool way that I every day, get in touch and in tune with my internal guidance system. And it's really, really simple. Whether I'm at my desk, or maybe I'm in my car, or I'm sitting at a, a, on my couch or whatever, right? I sit down and rest and, and feel my feet and my hands. And then I listen to the room around me. This is If you've done the exercise with your internal guidance system, you've done this with me. But just feel your feet. You can even do it right now. Feel your hands. doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing. You'll notice they might get a little tingly. 
I will feel like they might have a little energy. Some people describe it as a little heat or warmth. And then listen to the world around you. And what this does is it brings you into the present moment. Your internal guidance system is giving you guidance on what's happening if you let it in this present moment. And then I wait. I just relax with those feelings. And if my mind starts saying, this is stupid, or I don't have time for this, or, or starts giving me things that, I, that, that feel like they're coming from my mind, one of the things you'll find is when you start studying your internal guidance system, you, your mind becomes a, an energy. You, can, you, you know what your mind is when your mind is making up a story and what's going on there. And then you also have this other guidance system that's in the center area of your body. And what, what it feels like is it feels like an upwelling. It feels like a, a pulling. It kind of comes from the center below the, the solar plexus and it, and it like lifts, it kind of moves out of you in a direction. So an example is if you've ever kind of thought about calling somebody and as you are thinking of calling them, it just occurred to you, you have this like movement already to the phone you're, you're reaching out already. You can kind of feel that. Or, or maybe you're, you've been a dancer before, and the next move in the, in the dance that you're doing, whether it be just regular old boogie and down or, or professional, more structured dance, the next move you can feel where to go next. Another way to think about it is if you ever get into a really great cleaning spree on a beautiful spring day and you're zipping through your house and you can feel the next thing to do. Like you, you pick up the laundry and then you scrub this thing and you go get the vacuum and you and the next thing you know, your whole house is clean, but you, you didn't plan any of it. It just kind of happened. You just moved. People d explain this in, in ways of like when you're doing sports or there's an inward movement. Okay, so I'm hoping you're connecting with this. Well, you can get into that perfect flow. Remember, flow is feeling light, open, and wise. You can live your life in this beautiful, perfect flow. Now, that flow, in it, you are living your purpose for that moment. It's a thing. It's a physical, energetic thing. This opening and closing of your internal guidance system, when you're feeling open, you're getting in alignment with like, like, a, like a divine path that exists, that's real, that's powerful. And, and when you're in it, you can physically feel it. Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to play the hot, cold game? There'd be an object, they'd blindfold you, and then they, every, all the kids would yell, hot, hot, no, no, you're getting colder, colder, oh, whoa, warm, warmer. Well, that's what this is like, except it's inside your body and it's doing it for your purpose. And when you get in touch with it and you just drop in, Feel your feet and your hands and you're listening. That just gets you into the present moment. And then you feel what is to do to be done next. Answer emails. Make a phone call. Take a nap. Have time to have lunch. You know, you feel what to do next. You are stepping back into that alignment. There comes a place when you practice this that you stay there. That life becomes magical. Because I believe magic is the norm that synchronicity happens because synchronicity is the norm in this planet. Look at how nature is operating, how perfect everything fits together out in nature. Well, we are a part of that. Our mind takes us away from it, takes us out of it. But in general, when we get our mind out of the way and drop into the present moment and allow this other sense of self to come through, we step back into that perfection, that synchronicity, that magic. You're able to do this, and all it does is just take a little bit of practice and awareness. So this week, this, 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 this. So what I'd really love is if you would do that. Do that two or three times today. Whenever you feel struggle or like something's difficult or hard, you're off your purpose. It doesn't matter whether it's a computer program that you're futzing with, an email you can't find, a phone call, a phone call that you can't seem to connect with. It doesn't matter what it is that you're struggling with, okay? If you're struggling, you're off your purpose. Stop everything you're doing. Allow finesse to come back by being present with your hands, your feet, and listening to the world around you. And then wait, just wait, be patient, and that upwelling will happen. And the struggle will be, it's like pulling one thread in a knotted ball of thread, and it's the perfect thread, and you pull it, and the whole thing comes undone. That's what happens to that struggle. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I love that you're listening to this podcast. Please, 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 as my friend Alex Mendozian says, sharing is caring. Please share this podcast with your friends. If you're liking this information, I need support in getting this message out that we've got stress all wrong, that there is a much, much more fun, better way to do life, and I love your help. And also comment below. I would love to hear from you. I enjoy reading your comments and, and getting to, to understand more about you and what you think of this material and how you're using it in your life. All right, until I get to be with you again, I am sending you love and blessings.